Hi there, Wayne Jennings here, just out for a little paddle in my kayak. Now, when I'm out in the water, whether it's my kayak or my canoe, I always, of course, wear a life jacket. And there's a few items I carry in my life jacket uh, because you never know when you're going to need them. For instance, I always carry a pair of gloves just to keep your hands warm. And, of course, it's always good to have a <whistles> signal, a whistle there with you. But I've also been carrying lately this now this kind of looks like a tin of sardines but actually it's a survival kit in a can my wife bought this for me um, as a gift a few years back i've always carried it with me it fits perfectly in this pouch and i've never had to use it thank goodness but there's all kinds of things in there in emergency there's some fire starter cubes there's fishing line uh, there's you know packet of tea there's duct tape there's uh, energy candy uh, um, you know, fish hooks, uh, matches, waterproof matches, all kinds of things like that. So I've never had to use it, but I've been really curious as to the quality and the quantity of the items inside. Of course, I don't want to open this up because that would defeat the purpose of having it. But what I did, I went out and I bought myself another one here. Uh, paid like $13. There's a price on the back. Um, but I thought, let's go to shore, find a dry spot. I'll open it up and together we can check out the contents. The survival kit in a can is made by Coglins, a company well known for its line of camping accessories. Now, just a word of note here, the survival kit I'm about to open is a newer version and unlike the one I carry in my life vest, it does not include any food items. Okay, the moment of truth. We're going to open this package, show you what's inside. So here we go. Take it away. Let's see. There's a list on the back of everything that's in there. So we'll check it out as we open it. So it just opens. It looks like the same way you'd open a sardine tin. You just kind of pull it up. Slide her off. Okay. Well, it opens pretty easily. Let's see here. We got some kind of... Wow, it sure is packed tight, that's for sure. Okay, so, first of all, we have duct tape. Yeah, I guess that's always gonna be useful, about 12 inches worth there. We've got a little zippy bag, okay, keep things dry. Got a little uh, emergency candle here. Okay. One of those little tea lights and uh, some matches. Gonna need the matches to light that. Full book of matches. What else we got? We got some miniature parachute cord. I'm not sure how long it is. It's all wound up there. Let's see if it says here. Um, just says uh, multi use cord, three meters. Okay. That's good to know. And it also says multi-use wire, which would be this. Looks, you can make a snare maybe out of that. I'm not sure. Or just use it to, to tie up something. I mean, it's good and strong. It is wire. We've got a little teeny compass. You see that there? That is one tiny little compass. And a couple of nails. A couple of nails there. Oh, tiny little whistle. Good to have. And this uh, kind of looks like a paddle, but it's actually uh, some kind of a sharp point and uh, kind of a clip on. It's not a pen, but it's a, a very sharp pointed instrument. You could use it for etching or or something. I'm not really sure what you would use that for. I'm not even sure uh, what they call it on the list here. Okay, got a couple of safety pins here, different sizes. A couple of safety pins there. And we've got, oh, a razor blade. That is always useful, I would think. I'm not going to take the little paper off, but behind there we have a very sharp. That would be very useful for 
maybe carving a, the end of a stick pointed or something like that. Very useful, I'm sure, to have a sharp edge like that. We have some uh, oh other matches, but these are waterproof matches. You can tell the ends are dipped in uh, looks like wax material. So there's some waterproof matches there. We've got some uh, some kind of string and a twist tie. Oh, looks like some kind of nylon string there and a twist tie. We've also got some fish hooks. Actually, I guess you could uh, you could use that as fishing line, unless there's some fishing line in here. Don't see any yet, but there are fish hooks in here. Uh, if you can see them, they're kind of tiny, but there are some little fish hooks in there. And we have, this is a roll of, oh, this would be the fishing line or thread. You could probably use it for both. It's very, very tiny little roll. Actually, it looks like quite a bit on there. You can use that for fishing line or thread. And uh, of course, there's a needle. So if it's thread, you can use the needle there to, you know, repair a tent or clothing, something like that. And we have some little, these little cubes here would be your emergency fire starters. And what else we got? We also have, oh, this is just a piece of paper, uh, a couple pieces of paper. And um, actually, is that a marker? Oh yeah, so that little pointed thing <laughs> I was talking about earlier, it's actually a pencil. So you can actually draw on here. So <laughs> leaving a message, Hey, my last location was here, or uh, you could actually use this paper to start a fire if you had to. So that is a pencil. That's good to have. And we have a multi-use tool. This looks interesting. So here's a multi-use tool, which has all kinds of gadgets on it. It says here it's a can opener, a knife edge, there's a screwdriver on there, a ruler, a bottle opener, a uh, four position wrench, butterfly wrench, uh, saw blade, sundial, two position wrench, and a, a lanyard hole to hold it all. Wow, that's kind of neat. And it seems to be really, really durable, really solid. And then there's a couple more twist ties here. And uh, Helpful tips uh, to survival in the outdoors. So you got a little booklet there to, to help you with things. And some reflective, what well, looks like self-adhesive reflective material, which would be helpful if you need to signal someone. And then of course, the tin itself, which I would think would be useful uh, over a fire for uh, boiling water or uh, heating up food or something like that. So. All in all, uh, seems to be a fair amount of material in this tiny little survival kit. And, um, you know, hopefully I will never have to open it and use it in the wild. But it's good to know I've got it just in case.